were you a fan? Did you actually see it, or did you only start catching up when you got this role? Uh, I I hadn't seen it, and then I, I got the call that there was some interest, um, and watched it immediately, and it was, it was a no-brainer. We got the first six scripts as well, and it's just better than anything I had read in a long time. So, yeah. And like Noah mentioned, that he was impressed with you and your work. When you know that the writer of a project has that kind of feeling about you, does that impact the way you read the script? Do you feel more pressure to actually like the work and want to be a part of it? Definitely. I'm still not used to not auditioning. It makes me a little. I mean, it's nice not to have to, but. It, it, you just want to make sure you're on the same page and you really understand his vision and um, and we met, he lives in Austin and I, I live there part time so we, we met there and had a great conversation and I left there just, just as excited as I could be, you know, he's just a great guy and it's such an interesting um, way of just really honest, honest writer. So what can you say about Ed? What kind of man is he? What does he bring for you that you really haven't gotten elsewhere? Ed is, is, uh, no matter what anyone says, he's a good guy. Uh, he, he would like to think things are simple. You can go to school, get a job, Career, get married, have a family, you know, uh, just kind of uh, see out the American dream. And, and there are some conflicting ideas there with his uh, wife. And but at, at the end of the day, he just he, he is a caretaker and loves his wife more than anything. And, So what kind of relationship do they have? And obviously they've got different like, ideals of what they think the marriage should be, but is were they high school sweethearts? Did they meet more recently? How? Well, how? There was a scene that was cut out that I really liked, but I, I think they were worried about us playing 17 year olds, which is like, <laughs> are we that old? But <laughs> anyway, um, it, shows, it shows Ed who's even more It shows, it shows him working, I think, in the butcher shop and Peggy coming in with her high school sweetheart. He's about to go off to war and he tells me to look after her and, um, and then he dies <laughs> and I look after her. Yeah. So, uh, they have a really interesting dynamic relationship. I think they have a friendship there. Does he want her to change, or does he not kind of have an idea of how drastically different her ideals of his marriage would be? He just wants to understand, <laughs> I think. Um, you know, Peggy is into the self-actualization movement in the 70s, and um, it's just like a person that you know, just wants to see what's out there. And <laughs> but it's pretty great right here. So outside of the marriage, where does he fit into this world? Is he does he have like friends we get to see of his, or we get to see him at work? What kind of life you does he have? You get to see him. You get to see him at the butcher shop. <laughs> is it a, is the business going well, or uh, you have to get <laughs> <laughs> frustrations out through the meat? <laughs> business is going pretty well. I mean, it's a small town, um, and. Episode, well, the, the first episode, um, it looks like the guy that owns the butcher shop is, is going to sell it to me. So, the very beginning, everything is just, just perfect. And then things spiral. And then things spiral quickly. Well, since you got the first six episodes, were you the kind of actor who wanted to know what the rest of the journey was, or do you wait to get the scripts and actually then read them as with the weeks go by? I didn't at first because the, the, the first six were not. 
there's enough going on to chew on that for a while. But then, once we finished six and we were just getting one out of time, I was like, oh, what happens? <laughs> How does it all end?